What's up, woodworkers? My name is Corbin, and these are my drip butterfly bowls. So in the last video, I made the heart bowl with epoxy drips for Mother's Day. Check out the link for that video. Now, I actually been working on some butterfly drip bowls beforehand, but I wanted to release the heart bowl video specifically on Mother's Day. So two of these bowls here are made out of cherry wood. Two other ones are walnut. And then the last bowl is made out of madrone. So follow along as I make one of these bowls and hopefully you enjoy watching this video. Subscribe, like, and comment. I love hearing from people. Thanks everyone. As usual, the wood has to be sealed to prevent bubbles. I used a quick setting epoxy from Wisebond to do the sealing. Here I am using a regular bristle brush and I later started using a silicone brush to prevent waste as I can clean the silicone and reuse it again and again. On one bowl I used packing tape to hold the epoxy in but later started using silicone sealant as it worked much better. I used Wisebond deep pour epoxy for this bowl but I've also experimented with KS Resin's deep pour epoxy. Wisebond works great and cures really slowly. This is good for bubble release, but it makes it more difficult to hold patterns in mica powder, which actually don't really matter for these type of pores. KS Resin cures faster, but it has poor bubble release and tends to shrink and curl on the edges. I found it also has to stay in the mold for the same amount of time, which is about three days. So there really is an advantage to using KS Resin over Wisebond for this type of application. Okay, time to pick a winner for my heart bowl contest. YouTube random comment picker. And fetch that. Include replies. Allow duplicates. Are not allowed. And continue. Uh, da, 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 da. 33 comments. Pick a winner. Eva Dunn. Uh, it's who wins it. Congrats, Eva.